and assuming that cost is flat, that we can really lower that curve, then there are a few interesting consequences. First of all, upfront work becomes a liability. We pay for speculative work, some of which is likely to be wrong, some of which we are likely to have to undo. And if there is ambiguity and volatility, for example, in requirements, then it's good to delay. We don't want to plan for something that might never happen, to invest resources in something that we might have to throw away later on. In general, if cost is flat, it is cost effective to delay all decisions until the last possible moment and only pay for what we use, so to speak. In other words, there is value in waiting. Time answers questions and removes uncertainty, and we want to take advantage of that. This and other considerations led to the birth of the agile software development. Specifically, for those of you who are interested in a little bit of history, in February 2001, a group of software developers, 17 of them, met to discuss lightweight development methods and published the Manifesto for Agile Software Development, which introduces and defines the concept of agile software development or agile methods. In a nutshell, agile methods aim at flat cost and at decreasing traditional overhead by following a set of important principles. A first principle is to focus on the code rather than the design to avoid unnecessary changes. Another principle is to focus on people, value people over process, and make sure to reward people. In addition, agile methods are all based on iterative approaches to software development, to deliver working software quickly and to be able to evolve it just as quickly based on feedback. And feedback can come from many sources. In particular, it will come from the customer. It will be customer feedback. And to be able to do so, agile methods aim to involve the customer throughout the development process. Finally, there are two more principles I want to mention, which are cornerstones of agile methods. The first one is the expectation that requirements will change, and therefore we need to be able to handle such changes. We can't count on the requirements to be still and immutable. And the last principle is a mentality of simplicity. Simple design, simple code, and so on. But be careful because simple does not mean inadequate, but rather as simple as possible. 